shy about shooting. <laughs> he won't be. <laughs> That's his calling card. <laughs> Sandro Mamukelashvili out of Seton Hall misses the three. And Brown got down the court quick. Welcome back to the NBA Draft Combine from Chicago. This is game two. Some notable check-ins. Sam Hauser out on ESPN. Break down their game over on ABC at 8 Eastern. Get into their backstory. A little player bios. Figure out who can golf, who can fish. It'll be a good time. NBA and make an impact. Mm -hmm. And the atmosphere is going to be back to, to what we expect. There'll be fans in the stands and uh, and prospects there so the draftees will actually be there sorry the uh, 14 second mark that's valuable time that's been eaten up off the clock that can throw off the rhythm of an offense yeah i mean i, I think davion mitchell's a, a top five prospect yeah and mamu kalashvili with the right hand over the outstretched kata that was nice so the NBA making the move from Spalding now using a Wilson ball. Good pass. Mamu Kielak feeling finishing in traffic. A lot of scouts are intrigued back to the basket. You know, not a great athlete, but a good athlete. I really love Sandro Mamu's coach village. There he goes again. This is back iron. McKinley Wright rich down the board. Yeah, that's one of those plays where. Mamu Kielak. Kevon off the mark. And Jay, just sitting up here, you can hear him early enough, and he worked out at 4 o'clock wow. a couple times. So he's he's just invested. In fact, we win the championship the next day he's in the gym working out. So uh, a great teammate. Uh, obviously somebody you guys would never want to. Way to see the best of News 12's local channels from all across the tri-state area, all in one place. Now streaming 24-7, however you like to watch. Discover News 12 New York. We've seen in recent memory, why should NBA teams bet on Scotty Barnes being one of the best players to come out of this draft? I would say NBA teams should bet on me being the highest player to come out of this draft because I'm just a winner. I'm a born winner. I love winning. He's got 17 points to lead all scores, three of five from downtown. Mama Kalex Bealy missed from downtown right there. How it comes with the board? You know, John, one of the things that, that I think, and most of the players know this, they probably don't need to be reminded, but you want to keep in mind is if you're playing at the NBA Combine, uh, no teams at all. <laughs> Mamu Kalash, Vili showing off the handles, but can't finish. The lay with the three. Mamu deep in the corner. Pickett with the rebound. Love Pickett. Mamu Kielis Vili driving. Oh, trying to jam it. Had it blocked. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Hoyas. And a turnover. Georgetown coughs it up. Road streaking in the basket in the corner. Mamu Kielis Vili. And the rebound goes to the Hoyas. Donald Carey on this man. Sandro Mamakilishvili. Co-Big East Player of the Year. Across the lane. Gets it tough for him. Gets his own rebound. To the hole. Oh, finger roll. That's it. Molson with the board and a new shot clock. Von Blair can score points in bunches. Pick and roll. Mamakilishvili, the runner. Blair with the rebound. The reload. Now he faces 
Baseline, another tough shot. He's taking tough shots, Jim. Yeah, well, I mean, but, you know. Come on, come on. Come on. straight away. He continues to struggle, but the rebound and the stick back tonight. Watch your rim! Watch your rim! Amokilashvili looking to get on track inside. No. Block the second one. Reynolds with the rebound. Shot clock didn't reset. It's at 14. Let's see if the Pirates know it. Amokilashvili to the hole. Reverse his hand, and he goes down. Well, you love it because two shots were taken away. Right there, guys. In the front. Reynolds drives, kicks, runs. Mama Keelis Vili the hook. It's on! Mama Keelis. The game right now, so. That thumb injury suffered yep. against Villanova. But frankly, they believe, they strongly believe that he can make the contribution as Mamu Kalis Vili. Also put it on the deck and pass. Makes him a tough guy. It was a lazy maneuver by Roberts. Mamu made him pay. He just sort of nonchalantly. Roden with a little dump down. They play a two man game. Mamu off the back iron. Missed the jam. Kale for three. Lafayette Christian. Coach Mike Anderson says that Greg is the heart and soul win oh, oh, yeah. of this team. Mamu Collins Billy. Beautiful slip. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of easy. Win fertile ground for St. John's. Mamu Collins Billy again. This time off the back end. Obi who wasn't going to come out all the way. It's a smart decision that time just to pull up. Mamu. Marcellus Erlington. He's a trouble. And you're starting a second tournament. Mano a mano. Could be the right matchup for you, too. Mamu Kalasvili. And what is now the rubber match between these two? Great work defensively by the Hall. Mamu in full stride. Automated. 31-22. Those team is battling at it right there. And they force Mamu to take a tougher shot. Dick scorer around a, a group of guys that are scrambling around, giving him better looks because of turnovers they create. Right. I mean, that's really the essence of what the makeup of St. John's in this half. Two of 15 with eight fouls to go with it. Mamu Collins really a beautiful turnaround. And now the hole seems to be two right now for Steve Hall. That's who. Obiagu again gets it out to Mamu. Mamu! 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 McNeil in 2003. So it's been a long, long time since we've seen someone affect the game defensively like Obiagu. There's Mamu with a runner. St. John's, which means they get a lot of interchangeable positions. <laughs> he almost got that one through the hoop. Mamu Kalashvili. On his jump shot. Here we go one more time from deep. Run down by Dawusu. And Erlington took advantage of that switch, whereas the defense left too much room for him to catch and shoot the ball. Money, not to be. Erlington clears. Isolation play. Out of a one-four set. If you're 
Jabbar Reynolds because if he gets tipped, that's an easy layup. This is all about scouting reports. Mambo got there. Overtime. And why not? Now tonight. And here's one of the first looks for Mamu Kelashvili. He gets fed. He can shoot. Big man with skills. Rattle it down. And that is one of the things that makes him so tough. The dump off to Obiago, who has struggled offensively. He's been a turnover machine at times. Oh, Mamu Kelashvili, left hand hanger off, tapped out. Here come the Bulldogs. And I've heard before that once you pop, you can't stop. That's right. I've heard that. <laughs> That's right. I like that. And there is Mamu Kelashvili. Oh, so silky smooth. And, and it's why he's an NBA caliber. Well, each team going a touch deeper to its bench. And that penetration game here and pitch. Good defense from Butler. And Butler's that he loves. Just very confident. Reynolds stepping back. Off target. Tap to control the length of Kale. Mamu Kelashvili. Misses on the rain down. David's got it. He's had a couple of dimes. Mamu Kelashvili is just five points. It's been an eternity since that three in the game's early stage. Showing that pivot. Fall away off. And credit to Ooh. much better communication, though. The switching was pretty on point from Seton Hall. Mamu Kelashvili. Defender David fell down. Banker off. He's just been off tonight. Samuel wins it. Up. Samuel wants it. He's got a size mismatch. Gotta get it to him. They need a shot. Mabu Kelashvili off. And an offensive foul. Samuel Cole. Their worst effort of the year. They shot 33% twice at Creighton at Louisville. The latter a near miss to begin the year. And Mabu Kelashvili drains it from deep. That's his that's a 3 2 zone. Yeah, that is a 3 2. Kind of an extended one. Mabu Kelashvili off. Follow, up fake, up fake, not to. Mamu Kelashvili beyond NBA range. No. And a foul in pursuit of a free. How they played Seton Hall in the first game. They just needed to do everything a little bit better this time around to get the win. And they've done that. They've done everything a little bit better. Mamu Kelashvili. Right, you can see how off he is. Normally a much better shooter than that. Reynolds feeds him again. Shoot again. And make it. And you've got to continue. If you're him, you've got to. Yeah, yeah, the way I looked at that race and the way it unfolded, Hemrick won the race off pit road. He just lost the race on that restart. Almondinger put it to him on that inside lane and drove away. Good luck to you both tomorrow. We'll see you with race day starting here on FS1 at 2 p.m. Eastern. Needed and what's required, really, of now post player. 6'11. You see the skill set right here, Mama. Look at that. It just missed, though. Misfire on the drive. Here comes St. Hunt is get back into this ball game. Six minutes to go in the first half. Roden on the drive. Good pass. Kale passes it. Mamu Kellis really will take it. He can't connect. And Seton Hall's gone a little bit cold. It's a 9-1 run. Five points and six rebounds, too. But there he is, number 21, off that screen and roll again. Reynolds will take it. Dish inside. Mamu's got the dunk. And that's the downhill motion. That's where. That's your opinion, five quick points. We're going to talk about in the first half. It doesn't take much. He's going to get his looks. He created one on the defensive end, and that time in the secondary break, able to get a good look at it and knock it another. Reynolds. Mamu recovers. Oh, nice job. A bobble for a second. Recovered in time to put it up in the air. Good rotation. Kale for three. Maybe a piece by Lailusu, but Mamu is there for the putback. One timeout left. They're waiting for the TV timeout here. The next whistle. They could use it. Mamu Kale is really in deep trouble. Working hard inside. Rebounded by St. John's and Williams. It's the largest lead for the, the Griff. Lost it. Loose ball. Aiken. Three on one. Aiken. Lob. Coaches work on move quickly and side to side. That's when those driving lanes and gaps open. Where you got backdoor cuts, or you got Mamu inside, or you can get this three. But that was a little quick. You know, in their offensive set, they could have. I would just say, if somebody not, how many points you think you have? You said 14, 13, 14. Smooth yeah. 20. 
<laughs> Twenty, like, you know, quietly. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Now, but he set the tone to Paul Blue Demons, but you know, like a lot of other teams, you got to deal with it, charge ahead, continue to play hard. Abu Kalis Vili's first shot is blocked by Paulie Paulie Cap, and here comes to Paul. That, but it's how you lose some of those, game, those games, in particular. When you've been in control and just kind of let them slip away. Mamu Kellish really from way outside starts the scoring with a three. So Mamu Kellish really with the defender in his face halfway down and out. Mamu really cut off on the baseline. He got tripled. <laughs> Somebody got to be open, right? Go back to him. Yeah, this time there's nobody on him, but he's short. You think he's a focus on the scouting report? It's tough to get built out that situation right there. He's put in a tough position. Seven to ball turnover already. Mamu Kellish really forces his way to the rim and lays it in. Mamu Kellish really is open. Puts it in the deck, takes it into Weems, fades away. Rebound Samuel. Mamu Kellis really out of the corner. Got a three. No hesitation. And just that extra drip. Less than 10 to shoot as Reynolds drives. Fades. Mamu Kellis really tried to follow it. Rolled off of the rim. Third opportunity. He cashes in. Man, good teams take advantage of. Got to take care of your business at home. Mamu Kellis really with a pass from Kale. Later, too. <laughs> Straight away, Jared Roden. <laughs> Tip follow from Mamu Kellish Billy, who's got a dozen. Half of Seton Hall's 24. And now the question. Looking for their first win since January 23rd. Trying to snap four game skid. Mamu Kellish Billy rises and hits. Leading all scores with 14. And where would Seton Hall be tonight without him? On the rebound, Kale. Mamu Kellish Billy. <laughs> Showing all the facets of his game tonight. How about, how about, oh my goodness. Two, as a freshman, you get in there first and you just try to fit in, right? You don't want to make mistakes and lose the playing time you're getting. Mamu had it knocked away. Here comes the call. But he's finding himself in a bigger and bigger role. In the second half, Mamu going end to end. To the corner for Reynolds. Right back inside. Mamu Kellis really blocked this time. Second try, no. And a foul on the way up. And to rebound and secure it is what cost you you know, close game. Mamu Kellis really uses the window. 23 points for nothing. Or that block shot was going to come off at to finish. A double double for him now. 15 and 10. Mamu with a fade away. Rolls around and down. 25 now. J. Cole's jumper won't go, and here comes Reynolds. Well, not only the 80 points, but they shot 50% from the field, also 50% from behind the arc. UConn now a little bit better defensively with Book Knight back. Bubble coming into this one. Yeah, won the games. Um, their net rating is 39, so they're sitting in pretty good position. You come on the road here, beat a tough Seton Hall team. That's another quad. That's four points you potentially had in the basket. And again, you want to try to do the right thing, but you got to know when you got an open shot like that, you just take it. And hit it. Mamu Kellishvili with his first bucket of the... Roden has all kinds of room. Molson has more. Off line with a three. Mamu Kellish really the rebound. Two tries, no points for the Pirates on that trip. And Molson with the great. Mamu Kellish really against Whaley. Already a couple of blocks for Whaley. Make it three. And it starts to break the other way for the Huskies. And two run for the Huskies. Reynolds splitting it to the corner for Mamu Kellishvili. He drains another. See? Seven to shoot as Reynolds inbounds it to Mamu Kellishvili. 
takes it into Martin, throws it up, can't get it. Shot clock still going, but he puts it in, beating the shot clock horn. At eight for Mama, yep. Big East tournament, bubble teams. Those points, by the way, the first ones for UConn in five minutes. Mamu Kelishvili. Rebound Sinogo, who's got eight points on book night. Now Roden. Five on the shot clock, Mamu Kelishvili. Drives on book night. Off balance, threw it up. Good defense from UConn. Yeah, great rotation that time on the back line. Joe Kale. Okay, physical with Shabar Reynolds. So when they switch and do things, and plus you have size on the interior, see Mama go for the shot. It makes it a little bit more challenging for James Booknight. Still on the road, but when you look at this roster and the construction of it and the talent, it's no way you say to yourself that that should be the case, especially having this young man as the catalyst offensively like that. Cole is into double figures, his second triple tonight. He can thought about it, thought better of it, found Mamu, who is too strong. Rebound Samuel. Mamu for three. Right into the hands of Samuel. Path may have a few curveballs in it, but it got him back to where he ultimately wanted to be, which is at UConn. Mamu Kellis really stuck with it and finished with a chance at three. Yes. Babu Kellis really backing down on the defense. Turns around. His jumper's offline. Good deed that time from Tyrese Martin. They they love the aggression, the though. Good defense from Molson. Comes up with a steal. Oh. High off the glass. No. Mamu's there to follow. And it's down to single digits with 352. Or battle. But yet, the ball just easily rolls away right there for like Lav says, a no-footer. There's Mamu responding with a three. Cutting it to set. A double-double for him, his fifth one this season. Fires away. Front rim, no. Tipped out of bounds. UConn ball to Walker. So that's why I refuse to have the call with Danny. <laughs> because I'm still holding grudges. My junior year that we lost that game, so... I'm not ever just especially going on who just doesn't turn the ball over Caleb Daniels into the game for the first time He's back after a nursing a calf injury and there was a size mismatch that post up and they took advantage of guy through also Robinson Earl missing that one. It's generally a hundred percent effective Oh my So Mamu telling us that he by and large, well played and clean. Mabu on the turnaround. And he was pushed off his spot just a bit. Yeah, and not only he got there by Mamu, but also with Samuel blocking out so he could catch it right off the floor. You know you do a good job there. Uh-oh. Wow. Boy. Mamu gives Kevin and going over his hot shooting hand has cooled significantly here late in the half. Okay, he goes to his right a lot. He can do that too, can he? Yeah. He's a, an interesting player. Left. Seton Hall, five wins against Villanova since the Big East realignment. That's the most of anybody in this conference. And a miss from in close. Kevin Willard, one of fell back on the shot and missed it. Chance to get within one or tie. I'll tell you what, that's, he believes his range is the building right now. <laughs> Nobody coming to get him. That is well defended and a better offensive play by Mamu. But you notice again. Mamu down the lane. He can use that right hand. He uses it beautifully, too. For a guy who's just... Here he comes. Roden has been quiet after a big first half. Mamu again from the top. Got it. So you get Roden involved, and they think that he's going to set the hit. by Villanova. They knew where the shot was coming from. Got their defense set. No transition break. Quick release. And he couldn't quite get it to fall. For the last eight, decided by no more than two points. 
Deflection out front. I didn't see who got a hand on it, but there was a Nova player deflect. Nobody in the arena. There's the post up. Somebody going to come help him or not? 90 seconds to go. And we're tied. Pretty footwork. Real pretty footwork in terms of going away. I'm out. Called with that point nine left to go. Wow. <laughs> Double wow on this one. That is just simply not the way you expected this game to be. Six games, averaging 14 per game coming into the day. Well, Bowles should be licking his shot because the, the thinner the lineup gets, the more opportunities he's going to get on on the offensive end. Well, Seton Hall is by Obiagu. Oh, man. It's too easy. Hey, man, height is a is a pure advantage, buddy. I tell you the time. There's the college really off the mark for the Bryce Aiken into the game, the Harvard transfer, wearing one in white. Oh, his mom, what a move on the baseline, spinning and rolling it in. You know I mean? We do realize that City Water gets some grad transfers, but that process takes time to, as well to kind of gel with them understanding how this program works. Yes, With the answer. And, um, you know, once you... He's short. Offensive board, Tyree Samuel, the sophomore from Montreal. <laughs> The up and under from Mamu Kalashvili and the easy score. But and that's just... Oh, he is a towering... No, he's a big boy. Man. I mean, he's just big. But, and a nice tap out. Mamu Kalashvili nearby. Uh, Kalashvili lost his dribble, got it back, and somehow did that. Hey, talent sometimes... Check out. College Feeling backing away. Guarded by Hastings. Puts up a three and knocks it down. Well, <laughs> far you can't do that. You know, they had some empty possessions, and on those empty possessions, Seton Hall, the better team, was able to take advantage of it. Like the turnover Butler just had now, you can anchor. is right and then the tights how they take that to heart so i think it's a good evaluation process that the, uh, these young men should use to improve their game um, offensive oh. rebound obiagu omosa running point here samuel oh, Thomas feeling i mean when you have bigs that can pass the basketball tate the true freshman with 20. Seton Hall in a scoring drought that's gone four plus minutes here. Mama Kelly Feely unable to hit and the woes offensively. This is how you learn as a young player by being in these moments in tight game situations, okay? So the benefits you see Mama stepping out trying to answer with his own three. The benefits here are what the guy guarding Mamu. Bishop guards it. Who's that? Mamu Kelly Feely spin. He saves it. No, out of balance. Yeah. Reynolds to Rodin. Model Kellish Billy. Got it from three. Uh, nice extra pass, too. What he can't answer. Model coming off that 24 point outburst over the weekend against Butler. I like him taking it. Kellis really on the smaller ballot. Steps through with the left hand. A right, tough match after Malik. That's what Mamu on him. He's got it. He just, yeah, Samuel will be the guy at the other way. Smothered by yeah. Bishop. Great ball. Threes. That is the beauty of this great offense. I can see Mamu get going a little bit now, be a little more aggressive. Well, they have smothered him defensively. They have. Trying to find his way, too. Uh, found out the good news. Trying to work get him into the lineup a little bit more each game. He's got the tough match with Samuel. Creighton looking to extend its lead. There's a giveaway. Sandra with the stuff. Same play the other way, wasn't it? <laughs> Jump the passing lane. Turnover. This is Rody. 
spin. A little out of control, but he finds Mamu Kellis really. Boy, how about the patience with the dribble? Individuals that can beat you. You need stops at the other end and good shots at this end. Oh, Chalice Philly's got one more. How about this kid, Willard, though? Coming out of the time back. Now with 12, had just four in the win against Providence. And Mamu's starting to go to work, but he missed it right at the rim. A nice little opportunity for him. This is where they're dangerous. Over the last month, this is going to be a mammoth of a schedule this month. They get Creighton and Villanova twice in a matter of three weeks. Rhodes' link is spoken about on the offensive end, but not so much on D. And there's Mamu in the bucket. Their leader at 18 points again. Extra pass. Mamu thought about it. And now they'll reset it. Mamu will let it fly. And it's off the mark. Mamu just a 32% shooter. And it, come on, man. You can't. And the coaches will tell their players that. Just play. Worry about who's in front of you. Boy. Offensive rebound led to a three, but another miss. 0 of 10 from deep. He's on the offensive glass. Keep playing our game. David Duke just picked up his second foul as Mamu Kalashvili puts in the bucket. So that's big for Providence. Your leading scorer goes yeah. swallowed up by the big man Obiagu. I'd be what Seton Hall needed. Get a stop. Mamu in the lane. Lost it. They're letting him play. Mamu gets it back. And it's swatted. Good eye rejecting. And then a foul before Arkansas Seton Hall. Yeah, coming in their 10th in the league with three-point shooting. Mamu trying to get inside, lost it. He thought there was contact, no whistle. He just sat last season, so Hortner's the oldest guy on the team, turned 23 back on January 1st. Mamu, nifty move, everything but the finish. So now he is two of Seton Hall winning that battle, plus five. But down off the board where it matters by four, and now two as Mamu slams it home. Oh, what a terrific play. When they hold teams under 70, they've been really good this year. Ain't no, but down three at intermission. Mamu trying to get the second half started off on the right foot, and he does. There's two more in the paint. You know, you. It's, I hate to say it, but sometimes the games go that way. But they've been living in the pain, although Mamu misses that one. For the last game against Villanova, the Wildcats controlled it. <laughs> that was clinical. Yeah. Mamu kind of really short from distance. Remember, Seton Hall is yet. He's, he's kind of earned that right to be able to do that. And still trying to figure out uh, what that role is for him. Spin cycle moves. Sandro Mamu Kalashvili. Coach to look at every teammate in the eye. And now here he is against Hortler. Gives it off. Mamu Kalashvili knocks it down from distance. So what does he do? You let him stand back. Your point, Donnie. 0-4 against the top two teams in the league. Spinning. Mamu Kalashvili. He's been good in that spin cycle tonight. Remember, he's left-handed. Yep. The back. But, unfortunately, it can't be paid off with an assist. Look pretty, though. Shot clock winding down, and that is the exclamation point. Give Mamu 20. There is no good. Mamu Kellis really has the board. Here he comes. All 6'11 of them down the court. He can do it all going coast to coast. Up and in for Mamu. Mamu, one of the most entertaining players in the country. His ankle or foot twice this year. The last time was in the first matchup against Creighton. Mamu Kellisvili, smooth, in and out, no good, and Balak's got it for the Blue Jays, up ahead of everyone. Found by Mamu Kellisvili, looking to get good, he's the only one that has it, just two points, one of two field goals. Right down the lane, forget that, especially if you're going to play that kind of defense. Adjustments that Creighton need to make in the second half, they got to figure out where Miles Kale is and mark him, and they got to compete better on the glass. Oh, there is Mamu Kellisvili, can't finish after the nice move. Molson. The pace they're trying to pick it up. Mamu Kellis Vili from deep. He's got it. Creighton was down one man on the other end of the job on the class tonight. They doubled up Creighton rebounding wise 18 to 9 in that first half, and that streak continues. 
as an air ball from Mamu Kelly's as well. No question, he's a team first guy, but you're right. The reality is he wants his team to win and he wants to play in the NBA at the next level. And when you feel that pressure that you're not performing to your instinct in a field, the best time to cut is when your teammate dribbles at you. Mamu Kelly's Billy pumps up good. Soft touch for Mamu Kelly's Billy being relative. by foul shooting as well. It's not a stat we talk about a lot. Mamu Kelly's Billy has a shot up and under. Can't get it to go, but it stays with Seton Hall. Under Jay Wright, and it's two to nothing Wildcats. Anytime you can get this team to <laughs> open up the lane and you get screens for that guy. I, that the coach has decided it. to go that route. They did. But I'm not sure why, though. It, it, we still want to see how slick they are. <laughs> just because you got a mask on. <laughs> Robinson Earl comes down with that rebound to help secure that victory for the Illini. But Timmy, I love this. Out of a timeout, Nova goes out, comes out to a zone mm -hmm. just to change it up a little bit, and it was effective. <laughs> Absolutely. We made Seton Hall pay when they give it up. Which you would call poverty amid plenty. There's a 16-3 run. They're in the midst of their largest lead. Got to attack. They can pay for that miss. Lost the handle. Regathered. Went to the offhand and couldn't convert. Sunday. If you're, some of those teams are omitted. Yeah, no question. Especially when you consider how much downtime all these players have. Mamou can't connect. Great offensive rebound, but offense individually, and it's really helpful. Hale, nice pass. Mamou slams it home. That was a, a big play, and I'm glad Mom knew what to do with it. The youngster from Franklin, Massachusetts, the River School. Really a very humble player. Sandro stays with it and manages to get the deuce. 41-29. And right now, it's clipping our weather coverage area. We mentioned yesterday how this energy was kind of lifting more to the northwest as of yesterday, and that's good news. Uh, but we still have just barely enough of a tornado potential that's create Jay Wright, the man you see on the sidelines, looking so dapper every game. Yeah, Jay's going to miss game. And I love the story Jay told us about. He told Rowley, Massimino, Rowley, the right positions. You know, you, you, just when you think you're doing something, they, they, yeah. they hurt you with a long two. Mamu. And again, those are those bunnies inside. He went to the left hand. Did not get it to Pilfer. And once again, Molson trying to wheel his way there. And Mamu comes with the follow. Just talk to me about guys like Saban in football. I, I got news. Jay may not be comfortable hearing it, but he's becoming that in basketball. Oh, yes. Kalis really can't get that one to go. This is a blue troll, and that's what's in the gym and our day-to-day -day work. Eliminate the noise. Shit. And, and the oh, most important is remember to forget what happened the last game. <laughs> remember to forget throws for Seton Hall. Nothing has come easily as we see a steal right now and another push by Seton Hall. Another turnover. Mamu spin. That shot blocked by Whaley. His second. Obiagu now. And he's fouled. And it looks like you can't stop that. I mean, that's you're going to take that shot and put it in. There's not a whole lot you can do defensively. Here's Mamu with the fadeaway splash. Boy, is he impressed at both ends of the floor. You know what? Maybe they'll have some fresh legs for the buildup for the month of February. Well, one of the things Coach Hurley talked about was trying to make up some games. That shot blocked by Whaley. Kick out. Reynolds, the three. No other rebound. This one by Roden. Another miss by the Huskies. Nice Inside the Mamu. Good ball. Fade and lays it in. Now that's transition basketball. Exceptional. Push the ball off the fit in. You, we talk a lot about getting the momentum and a lift going into the locker room, and clearly it's had an overhead. That's a momentum yeah. stopper. That sure is. Mamu with the foot. We're going to now call that personal on Roden, which is Obiagu to Roden. Mamu off the glass, no. Here comes Gaff to Aiken. A little bobble there, not a walk, not a walk. Mamu from deep. Yeah, disjointed, wasn't it, that set? Guy that can score in bunches. 
Marquette, they were down 18. He scored 23 in the last 15 minutes of that game. And the roll by Mamu. Defense right here with some traffic by UConn. But then he puts one on the floor. That might have been a trap. On the floor, Mamu! <laughs> Danny Hurley wanted a, a travel on that one. Move, get out. John, good hard work, can't get it to go, and here comes Seton Hall. Kell got the board, Mamu Kell is feeling, goes one-on-one, -on -one. Euro step.
quickly. 24 seconds, not a lot of time. Oh, get that out of here. Kessler Edwards. Edwards. Mm -hmm. And then all the other in the ring route. Well, right that's round. You know, it's the NBA's rules. You got NBA coaches yes. playing against uh, uh, fellow sort of NBA prospects. Uh, so it's just, a, it's just a question of where you'd rather do your developing. Austin. Two, although Seton Hall has won five of the nine meetings in the Big East tournament. And here we go, back door inside. Roden, and he'll score his first shot of the game. Kale. Mamu pumps fake, dribble drive, kicks it out. Kale, rise and fire. And his. It was there. And Georgetown coughs it up. Mamu Kale is feeling a rush for two. Just like that, Seton Hall cuts the Georgetown off the glass way strong. Oh, great help that time by Obi Abu. Don't think that Pickett didn't see him in his rear view. Roden. Jared Roden is on. Mamu driving, kicking, Molson. Got the puppies organized. Little people out there, and there's Roberts. Mamu's got Roden on a run out. On occasion, because of the way the Johnnies crashed the glass. Shot clock at six. Kale. Counters. Mamu with the dish. Right side to Cross Alexander to protect the field. Nice. Nice. Really well done by Kale. And a pure find by Mamu. To tuck this one away and remain bubblicious. Bring it out. <laughs> brought it out. Should have brought it out, but you know. Lifted just gave the foul out. David in. There's Mamu. Nice. And Ronan right on the spot. Butler can't get clean in. Won the race off pit road. He just lost the race on that restart. Almendinger put it to him on that inside lane and drove away. Good luck to you both tomorrow. We'll see you with race day starting here on FS1 at 2 p.m. Eastern time. What a day. Seton Hall with 10 assists on their 12 field goal makes tonight. Aiken, that time he will pull the trigger. And there you go. There you go. And in that time, you know, start off a little bit better. Well, I don't know. I mean, if they somehow win this game, maybe not. Hope you do with the dunk. And the foul off a big look from Mamu Kelishvili. Boy, to the pirate. I need a bucket. Double on Mamu Kelishvili. There you go. Good move. Aiken for three. He got it. Needed it, and it was big. It's Rodin out of the corner. Gets the roll. And Seton Hall is back in front. Fickens left in this half. It's Reynolds. Tommy Kell is really with three. To the corner for Kale. His three is there. Miles Kale, first points of the night. Reynolds behind the back. Now Mamu. Roden for three. He's got it. Seton Hall is heated up from outside as this game has gone on. Not let it get below five seconds. Elvis lost it. Mamu Kelishvili had to kill. First time the Pirates have led by multiple possessions. Dynamics. Here is Mamu. 18 points per game. Bounces it off for Jared Roden. Fades away and drops it in. He's, he's got the kind of talent where he can carry Seton Hall on a give-go. He's gotten better and better for Coach Hurley, but it's poked away by Mamu. He's able to come up with a loose ball. Up ahead of the pack, Jared Roden lays it in and has the first four for Seton Hall. And Seton Hall, really, it's that top mid-major team that everybody's been talking about. Yeah. Well, that, that would not be the case. Kale going baseline. Banks it in. Miles Kale. And seven straight. That pressure is going to be one of the keys to this game. Sandro Mamu Kalashvili on the drive. And the dish to Obiagu opens up the scoring. He had 20 the other He's a pretty good passer, too. He hasn't had a chance in this game, but he averages over two assists a game. 
There's one right there. That's a good pass. That's a good shot, Molson. Hey, I'm glad he made, hey, made me look like he hadn't made it. in the driveway or in the playground, wherever. Living room. Yeah. <laughs> Outlet. There's Roden on the finish. His first field goal. What a tremendous. With the bigger front line for Seton Hall. And down to the corner, Miles Kale nails the three. See Mamu though, Mamu playing a little bit of guy down there to just make him kick it out. Well, Daniels was giving up seven inches and 30 pounds. He didn't have much of a chance. Wow. Great take to the hole by Jared Roden. He has been. He always got a good shot on it. That's Roden. Got the hot hand back. That's a beautiful set too. That's called by Kevin Willard. Simple but fundamentally sound there for Mamu. Four minutes into this second half, and the pace continues. Will it catch up with going over? More difficult in terms of getting that shot off. Good no shot there by Mamo. I thought he was thinking of pulling one up. Oh, I'm sure he was. Yeah. But now you're driving it to the basket. Blue shirts. Kevin Willard's adjustment on the floor came over. He'll get another shot at it. Right past Robinson Earl. Pretty pass inside. Boy, that was a fabulous pass. Draw two defenders. Everybody hard to get around him at six foot or rather seven foot two, leading the Big Eastern blocks. Inside is Roden who gets the first deuce of the game for the Pirates. Well, the little pitcher right to the drive. Picks up his dribble. Kicks it out. Tough defense for the Bulldogs. Dallas Feely, extra pass. Roden knocks down a three. We talked about the patience on Butler. Seven point lead for Butler. One and two in Big East play. As Reynolds connects from three. It's good. And a nice tap out. The ball is feeling nearby and gets the carom off the right foot of Bryce Golden. Dish inside the road. And Seton Hall has their first lead of the afternoon. You learn this go through experience. You know, make you have to live with some of the mistakes that they make. This recovery from all the others. The time of the last eight meetings. The last one came down to the wire. Mm. Mm. The feed from Roden extends the lead to five. And I like that. That's up a really good shot to get you getting a better one, and you don't get it. Nice dump off. Well, the Yagu, and that one falls through. First basket for the could, junior. He gets it back to number seven in the nation. Matches its highest AP ranking. Kale. <laughs> a little bit of a danger zone. Mamu creates six turnovers. They only had six all 40 minutes against Georgetown the other night. On the baseline, Kale. Nice feed from Mamu Kalashvili. And that's what Mamu's going to have to do if he's not. Inside Mamu again, another nice feed. And Obi hanging on the rim and we're tied at 16. I just think he's so good for college basketball. Always positive no matter what the scoreboard reads. Love that cool. Inside Samuel on a great pass by Mamu. Central center with the hall in control. Both teams love to play man-to-man -man defense. They're going to switch a lot of ball screens. As Kale goes right to the rack and a good start for the Pirates. That's the biggest lead of the game early on here. As the Pirates looking for some offense, Kale has given it to him early. He's got seven quick points. It's a mile their basketball with Mamu controlling. Roden working on Jefferson. Pretty that mid range again, my friend. It, the reason why it's so taken again, heavy minutes for Bryce Aiken. Jefferson's got to go up quickly with that. He waited way too long. Reynolds, he scores. Not for Creighton, but that was almost a turnover. And Ballock a game high 23 now. Odiagu underneath. He gets it in one. He made it a point to, to make sure we knew it was 200 in conference. Yeah, in this yeah. conference, he has more than 200 in his career. In his career, that's right. <laughs> he had that.
that jersey on his wall. We, the whole state would exactly. bring in the floor to lead. <laughs> yeah. And I worked in all of those cities as I was uh, making my way up the ladder. There's Roden from downtown. Great work, and that's what they need more. Like Billy comes out of there with it. That was Brandon Slater keeping it alive on the offensive glass. And the response here from Seton Hall as Molson goes reversal. When they're at their best in trip. UConn can't buy a bucket here early. Here's Kale for three. Count it. Miles Kale. Man, start thinking about calling the time. In this one, Brian Custer, Jim Spinarco. We're at Gamble Pavilion here in stores. Back in battle. <laughs> and Obiagu throws two down. That was Bob. Rick and Mamu's got the rebound. Good choice there. By
Came off the mark, Johnny Juzang out of UCLA rips down the board. Jay, after getting that really nice email uh, from Linda Schultz yesterday, my vocal left vocal cord was feeling a little raw. I thought about taking the day off. E. Smith from three from the corner. Four seconds. Oh. Mobley with the steal at the buzzer. Oh. <laughs> Points per game, four rebounds, and four assists per game. And his measurables here at the combine off the charts. Almost a 7 3 wingspan. Scouts are just drooling right hard. We just got a chance to see him knock down a three ball. So he's another one of those guys that you start to realize just how good he can be. So the next president, Leon Rose, head coach Tom Thibodeau. Ewing, maybe the greatest player in Big East history to get to the Big East Tournament Championship as the coach. And five coming up the floor on four of nine shooting. Now Mokalish Vili, one of eight in the first half, and he throws that out of bounds. Hey, Gus, sometimes you got to know where you're going. And you go. Now, I knew you win, so you better be nice. There's a... Another one of those unforced errors, but sometimes, just as I mentioned, the skip. Oh, look up. Look up. <laughs> Link oh, the field. Oh, boy. And Roberts got down there in time. Well, Bamu threw that like he was a six spot to green defensively. You really have to hone into your game plan right here. There's the turnover. Yeah. And guess who got it? Posh. Posh is Posh. For Enzi, immediate impact on his return. And he just gifts the ball right to Mamu Kalashvili. He returns the favor. And Seton Hall's coming off a tough loss to Georgetown. Julius is back in the primary point. Mamu Kalashvili leaving. Hang, miss, whistle. How game for Butler. They limped in with losses in three straight, six of eight, five by double digits. The Pirates cannot lose this game, and they give the ball away. It was inverted when these teams met in early January. Mamu Kalashvili denied end line, loses handle. Oh, nice, nice move by Enzi. Tell you, Enzi is the MVP of this game. Mamu Kalashvili can feel that double coming, the triple coming, he has it stripped by Tate. The little man rips it for the big, a foul, and now get a little chippy after with could be the dagger. And he is in his zone now. A game-high 16-point lead, Mamu Kalashvili out of control, rumbling for an offensive foul. It's fun out. Yeah, yeah, the way I looked at that race and the way it unfolded, Hemrick won the race off pit road. He just lost the race on that restart. That's what you do. Eventually got a scholarship, so kind of going back to his roots on that one. Mama Kellis Billy, big first half. Lost it going up and is controlled by Champagne and St. John. Missed some number. Gun hesitates. Season with the Blue Demons. Transferring in after getting his degree. Good hands right there. And a Seton Hall turnover. There is Hall coming up with a steal for Ryzen over him. Left it a little bit short. There's Mamu with a rebound. Now one short of a double-double. Mamu Kelishvili hoops into the lane. Offensive foul. He knew it. And, 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 you, and you know position. what? And that was a tough one. Oh, the first team all-conference player. Leading score for him. Unavailable tonight with the ongoing knee issue. That's turnover. And DePaul comes back with it down three. Darius Hall, one on. Time. Let's see if it carries over now to the second half. Seton Hall goes right to Sandro Mamu Kalashvili. Good hands from Sonogo, who's playing one of his best games so far tonight. He's got eight points, four. Aiken comes up with a loose ball here, looks to push. Mamu Kalashvili with a head of steam, lost the handle. Book Knight looks to counter, shares with Gaffney, who throws it down. That was a great closeout by Posh Alexander, though. It looked like Kale was going to get a shot. The triple team on Mamu Kalashvili, and they forced the turnover. Up initially, what do you from a guard's perspective? What are you running? How do you think it through? And whoops, right through Reynolds' legs. Kevin Willard, 11. Oh, oh. Look inside, probably an ill advised pass. Oh. Four. 
Villanova very good at it. Not over dribbling, but just enough with a purpose. Wow. A handoff to the wrong guy. No games there this year. All of them here on campus. Finneran Pavilion. Samuels, quick hands, quick thinking from the seat of his pants, and now back the other way. Earl couldn't hit it. Three for 11 from the floor tonight. Quick hands by Slater. Hick in the pocket. Set himself up for a little bit of an angle to finish things off. Biggest lead of the game for Villanova. And an offensive foul on Mamou Kelashvili. And a timeout called with that point nine left to go. Wow. <laughs> Double wow on this one. In home series between Butler and Providence. They split the meetings. Providence taking the last game 71-55. And this is steps taken by Ronald Feely and a turnover for the hall. But that was an if you go back to that Butler possession. with the board. Tell you what, the pace is like this for six and a half minutes, even if Butler is undermanned. This is an offensive foul against Mama Kamish. Bryce Golden is off the mark here. Well, this is danger time. Tempo's starting to ratchet up, but it's a turnover on Mama Kamish Vili. The carry, and he said it's upon myself and the coaching staff to continue to teach, to encourage. To inspire. We know we have a. The Bulldogs can string together a couple of baskets. This is, this is a closer game than it appears. You said just keep it in striking distance, right? There's another defensive yep. play. And see, you know, as the game ticks under 10 minutes, Zagorowski doing a nice job fronting. Reminds you a little Gillespie fronting the bigs. Oh, and it leads to the turnover. Samuel fouls Bishop. He really has terrific feel. Duke. Duke already has five, and that's all he had in the loss against Georgetown. That's one of the reasons that they lost, as Kale almost got a steal at midcourt. Samuel just his tenth of the year, but they will take it. And then Mamu gets the steal, but he stepped on the sideline. And kind of just, uh, just kind of pulls me back here on D. Uh. David Duke, and now an offensive foul. So Providence gets it back. Goodness. See, that's the pressure that I think they needed sooner. We got live bodies. We got active guys. Corkler strips it away. And a great defensive possession. Three. Oh, Looks like an extra step there. And it is a traveling violation on Manu Kelishvili. Mamu's been quiet. That's the thing with this offensive explosion. Tries to take it down low. He gets a strip, and here comes Creighton. I credit Mahoney there. He gets the deflection. Doesn't get the steal, but he's not sticking with this 2-3 zone. And a steal. Zagorowski trying to push, and he gets fouled from behind by Molson. This is it. And the issues for Seton Hall in terms of defending the three... Were a problem in their last game with Creighton, as you know. You were on hand for that. And that's a point of emphasis for Kevin Willard today. It's guards. Yeah, no question. Only during this national title run did he have quality bigs to go with those guards in building this program in his generation of coaching. By the Huskies, here's come Miles Kale. Kale driving. That shot blocked by Whaley. UConn ball. And Whaley leads the Big East in blocks. Samuels backs down, good kick out to Mamu. Yep, good diagonal. With two on the shot clock, he falls and turns it over. So it is a has to get back to an aggressive, aggressive posture from the offensive end of the floor. Mamu has it right out of there. And Roden grabs Martin. Stars in the coaching business. There's Mamu reading that.
They, they've got other guys to do that. Yep. So you, you've got to do other things that are going to help your team win. You've got to make an open shot uh, because if the ball comes to you, you've got to be able to knock it down. And Kellishvili, back come the Blue Demons. Romeo Weems, who had a great freshman season, still trying to get going as a sophomore. His first shot wouldn't go. Polycap had it ripped away. Last time to the basket, got contested, but Samuels has so much potential in town. Oh, Weems is blocked by Mamu. Oh, just about everything he can do from Golden and a couple of plays strung together here for the Bulldogs and the other end of the floor. Oh, Enzi rejected by Mamu Kalashvili. Well, and even in that, that time, Enzi able to get a one of six from the field to start. As long as you get good looks, though. Well, we'll take bad shots. Look at this, just taking advantage. The lob, good collection. Mamu with the block. The lead quickly ballooned as the second half started. And Creighton is led by as many as 28. Mamu Kalashvili blocks it. He almost... Corralled it. But there's Ballard. You have to respect that shot. Jefferson maybe dips a shoulder. No pull. Cockbrenner partially rejected. Mamu. And we get a foul. Lifting more to the northwest as of yesterday. And that's good news. Uh, but we still have just barely enough of a tornado potential that's clipping our area. And this warning officially goes until 430. But it starts would be issuing a tornado warning for McDonald County. We'll let you know if that happens as soon as it pops on. Hawassi, you're in the clear as well. And uh, unless this storm right turns, I don't think we're going to see. Get in game. Reynolds, he is four. They want to foul him. The long pass to the baseline. And Belay has it blocked away by Mamo Kelishvili. That's a big defensive play. Yep, big play. Zone didn't draw any iron. And then Mamo Kelishvili throws it away. Figueroa and now William Strong to the basket. Big collision and Seton Hall comes away with the numbers. Head inside and then drop the pass to him inside. And then see if he can go to work. Morales charging and uh, blocked by Mamu. I don't know I've ever seen anybody take the ball from Mamu that easy. Mamu on the other end with the block. Still 14 to shoot for Penn State. It's about the lack of toughness of his young team. We're going to find out the last six minutes whether that is prophetic. Johnson, a couple of hands on that. Obiagu. To Johnson, but he can't finish. And Mama Kellish Feely comes away with it. Mama Kellish really just got a piece of it. One more. Other guys to do that. Yep. So you, you've got to do other things that are going to help your team win. You've got to make an open shot. Uh, because of. Oh, yeah. Really, those guys yeah. played so well. Yeah. They kind of held it down a little bit for him. Burlington on the drive. Gets over the outside baseline. Had to take an extremely difficult shot. Right. Champagne, he's been quiet in this first set. Again, the Big East leader. Good look at it and knock it another shot. And this pace is St. John's pace oh, right time. now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Champagne. And we carried that in the second half, but it was St. John's who was the more aggressive team. Your loser in high school. Here's Hauser. Ross Court looks for his brother and sets his feet and hits the J. Joey Hauser is a freshman. Howard drives to the baseline. Here's the floater. Short. Tomorrow. It was impressive. Got to punch the clock, though. Only well, two points in the second half for Powell.
defender as well because he can guard multiple spots. Mm -hmm. He's not a, you know, not the speediest of guys. But I first saw him when he was at Wichita State, as John mentioned. And Vicious letting it work out here. Yep. Hesitation. Harris oh, the left-handed floater. Inside, Wahab, pump fake. Can't get the bounce. In regards to the tournament, but St. John's, Mike DeCorsi has him in his first four out. All lead to the hoop. Nothing doing with the low scoring wise for Butler. Yeah, Golden and Bolden. Yeah, yeah. We're in Bolden. Yes, indeed, they were. <laughs> This is a, a big moment here. Got a media pending. Butler feeling like it could pull away. Step it back. And when you have transition opportunities, figure it out. Get to the basket, get fouled, at least convert it. Elvis bounces it off. Pauly Cap banks it in. It gives DePaul the more assertive offensively to not let it get below five seconds. Elvis lost it. Mabu Kellishvili had to kill. Kevin Willard said you don't want to get into a shootout with this team, and that right there, he elected not to go at the timeout. He walked with purpose toward the scorer's table and then turned around. And his team... And more, what a pretty move down the right side of the line. You know what? You would not be surprised throughout the season if Mamu has... One or two of those. Alden air ball. A young five on the floor once again for Butler. Tate, who had the early offense, uses the window. The Pirates keep scores down. Excellent from inside. It's Bishop again with a swim against Villanova. One against Creighton in the last three. They're still searching for that signature win. And that's a great start for Providence. Borkler handing it back to Duke. He was saddled with two fouls in the first half. He gets it into Watson, but too wide. A turnover. Reeves pulls 18-footer. Yes. Back to a one-point. 17 for Kale, who normally averages a dozen. Good-eyed. Missed it. Borkler left-hand tap. Floating it inside, and that is rejected. Effort. You had to work for that stat. That, <laughs> that took some digging. <laughs> I know. Hey, height matters in basketball. Real turnover. Ballock was at the monster game with 26 points. Each team one time out remaining. Ballock launches long range. Still want to see the fancy shoes and the wingtips and all that good stuff? You will a little bit later. Trust me. We went over it in rehearsal.
Reeves has to settle down. Here's another fun matchup. McKinley Wright against Austin Reeves. Nice dump down inside. Okay with that. Always has been. Jam Penny again. Beach called the use it or lose it. Enzi trying to post gets fed. Double collapses. He fights through it. Off target. We have a win against a ranked team. 0 and 5 against ranked teams. They do have a win against Xavier. A significant one by margin. But near misses against Louisville. Here's the freshman Adama Sinogo. He's gotten better and better for Coach Hurley. But it's poked away by Mamu. He's able to come up with any time they've needed a big shot. He's been there to hit it. Sinogo spinning into the lane. Puts it up. Rolls around. Defensive efforts. Wofford does not play in a lot of close games. They average 83 points, they give up 65.6, and they get a bucket. Keaton Hall has cut into the Wofford lead. Lob it out front. Aluma gives it up. Jackson sneaks inside. To understand where his front court mate was at. That dime inside. Baseline jump shot ball, and that's not, not stand-up ceremony, Mr. Wayne. He may have been a little excited at half time. He's a gamer, and they go inside communication skills. Bovan, deep in the post, turns on Mamakilis Dealey and lays it in. How's you can play defense? And obviously with Mike Anderson, that's...
You, 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 you know, the best thing is I get to be on shows like this and have opportunities like this and to see the excitement and the celebration. Again, that one blocked from behind by Samuel. Ego F.A. at point blank range. And the stuff. But, you know, it, you, you take care of your business. I guess we've got a long way to go before this game is even you know, put for St. John Champagny against Mamu Kellis Wheeler. Will step back three. Basketball over goes through those scoring drafts so they can get back into a game if they're down. It's Jared Roden first points for Seton Hall in mm. six minutes is weak. UConn and not fouling and putting Seton Hall to the line. Those precarious moments there. Sonogo splitting the D and getting fouled on his way up. Particular, not just shooting the ball, but in this outstanding footwork. There's Enzi. Bulldogs again to content to run clock here. Enzi, nobody nearby, just couldn't stop. Got a clock at eight. Jefferson rejected again the seventh block for Seton. Later, he said the two were in cahoots. Yeah. But only got eight shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Monogrammed the whole bit. Yes, that's our best suited. I would imagine we'll see.
calls to allow the scouts to be able to see more from him. Yeah, he had, he had too many possessions, I felt, where he was just jogging. And instead of using that athleticism, put up his wallet for the first time since I've, I've known him. Um, <laughs> he took out a Canadian $5 bill, uh -huh. and he handed it to me, and he said, tear it in half. I'm like, what? Well, because of the, his ability to guard, play the point, he can knock down perimeter shots, and he's got another gear. His burst getting to the basket, which he showed all year long, yeah. is... Jay, I mean, are you think there's going to be any jitters from these guys with so much to prove? That's going to be the issue, Fonz, is his defense because he can shoot it. And but is he athletic enough to stay in front of this super athletic to you? What are some of the questions that have been asked about your guys? Well, first and foremost, they want to know about them as a people because a uh, nice move there, but uh. Uh, Butler, I mean, he graduated from our business school in three years. He won every Big 12 award possible. Um, uh, taught other guys to do that. Yep. So you, you've got to do other things that are going to help your team win. You've got to make an open shot uh, because of with the rebound. Reese is the Big East semifinal. Winner to play in the championship tomorrow. Kick it against the winner of Blair down the lane. Lobs it. Ego F A just look at that. Well, it's not for the faint of heart going into the paint. Champagne with an answer. Well, Richardson was at Arkansas. He had to deal with Patino at Kentucky. Well, there were a lot of guys pressing back then. Look at that. Scoop to the hoop. Like he was a 6'5 guard, throw it up in the air just a little bit more. I think he could have, could have got that pass. There's been an incredible shot. Burlington on a blow by. High off the window. And watch for possible offensive rebounds for St. John's when they're in the zone. Mentioned Anderson along with Mike Roberts, Brian O'Connell. Butler able to maintain possession. Last touch to the Pirates. Oh, wide open. Easy money. Two the other night. Now makes one of two here. By the way, those four threes from Erlings had a career high. What a pass. A time moves on. Another opportunity. I like the, the move and shot. Just not able to convert. Nice pass inside. There is Hall. Lays it in for the first. Other guys are shifting into other roles. And the inconsistency in his availability. There's a dunk Whoa. from Nick on Gen. You know, started off slow offensively, but, you know, his teammates encouraged him at halftime to continue to be aggressive. Elvis again. He has five games. COVID injuries. Could make you stretch your line, and there it is again. And, and, and here's the thing about it's to win. You don't want to give this one up, particularly at home and on scene, senior night. Book night, good handles to get inside. Wanted to follow up. Uh, Seton Hall defense stepping up and really getting into jerseys of the Wildcats. And that leaves that open. And that's the patience at the half. Oh, versatile offensively. He can shoot it from deep, drive, post up. Now Mahoney. Free throw is coming. This lead is grown to 15. Largest of the day for Creighton. Turnover. This is Rodin. Level of appreciation for what he brings to the table. You're right. Mahoney realizes he's up. Mitchell high off the glass and down. A wound as the second half started. And Creighton is led by as many as 28. Bob Okelish really blocks it. He almost corralled it. But of course, he and Duke are the two that get him going. They combine for 51% of the prior points. Good swat inside by Jared Roden. Duke down the lane. No foul, they say. Oh, no, there are going to make decisions almost every single time. Had six assists the first time these two tangled, and a couple here in the first half as Nate Watson gets so good. Duke has it back. Driving on Aiken. Beats him, but the help side defense, Obiagu. Third time. Shots in the first half from three. This is going to be a season low for Providence. They haven't been below 50 all year. 
Good eye missing the run. And it's the biggest lead for Seton Hall at five. Gallock on the give and go. Sweet. And he lays it up. Gillespie and Moore remain in the backcourt. Justin with a jump stop. Could not convert it. And Mamou. It's great when your family's around. You haven't seen him in a while. But there's a job to be done. Look at that work on the points. But Mamou, Seton Hall won for the first time in 27 years there. We were on hand yeah. for it last year. There's a pilfer. Adams kicks it to the outside to Whaley. And there's another turnover by the Huskies. Here's come Miles Kale. There you go underneath if you have him. Oh, you got to catch that one. You got to get that one. You got to dunk. And and, there. Yeah, he lost it. Yep. Three guys surrounded him. Have to try to kick that one away. Cole. And the block on one from the outside, inside out. Good rejection, good timing. Five on the shot clock. So no go. And he'll go to the line. Kevin Willard needed right here. So sluggish with 10 seconds left on the offensive end. Gaffney drives, lays it in. Love his. <laughs> Two days, have you seen a player or players who could be the next Terrence Mann herder? I don't know if you'd go sort of win against Villanova. Hands in the passing lane, comes up with the turnover. Boy is top of the arc, pick it. Oh. Last time they missed a free throw was Wednesday against Marquette. Blair, baseline, belay. And it's really with any consistency, so that's taking a little bit win out of the sales for the defense or the offense for St. John. Very nice. Big East. NC. Take. Air ball. Four to five in a row. I think they're looking at UConn all right right now. Oh, you better believe they are. Exactly. Champagne. Just missed, though. Misfire on the drive. Here comes St. John with Dunn. Look at control it. Now they'll let it fly from three for St. John. Champagne against Mamo Kellis Wheeler. Will step back three. Just look at it and not get another shot. And this pace is St. John's pace right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> good, good deed by Seton Hall, but the rebound by Toro, the senior. And another opportunity for St. John, Champagne, the last two games. You know how dangerous they could be as a 12 seed? <laughs> a 12 seed? Oh, I mean. Martin for three, cut for to call Molson, who couldn't hit it. Booknight lines it up and hits it. Missed some time over the course of his career, though, due to injury. Robinson Earl catch and shoot. Everything but the way too strong. And now Villanova on the move in transition, but Seton Hall gets back well. That's Slater. Got it. Rather than block it out. And Daniels just all over the floor right now. Trying to come up with the loose ball. Third time for the charge. Him against Villanova, one against Creighton in the last three. They're still searching for that signature win. And that's a great start for Providence. 24% from three this year. Horkler, he can shoot it from there, and he proves it. They're communicating, talking, and pointing. It's so important. Horkler, short on the three. Aiken saves it to Gant. Horkler, catch and shoot off the heel. Georgetown, where they were up 15. Georgetown was coming off the long COVID pause, just a heartbreaking defeat.
Brett Cooley's crew. Reeves short from three. Hortler. Obi, he can't miss him. 7-2, and that shot is good. Uh, skill set. It's just remarkable. See Ryan Kopp runners in the game now for Creighton's seven-footer, but they go outside again. He only took two shots in the first matchup, but Doc being a lot more aggressive, hunting for his. Long range. Jefferson, he's got another 63% from the floor. And they're also 8 of 13 from three. Now a three the other way, and that's no good. Jefferson. But if he can now kind of settle into this role as a bench, like six-man score, kind of Denzel Ford here for the first time in the second half. He's got an even 20 for the game. Ligorowski trying to push. Cut off. Mahoney for three. In this game. Sure has. Six-point game, 338 to go. Bishop Scott to Zegarowski. Matchup here. Zegarowski the kick. Wide open. Jefferson for three. That was a wow. big deal. Turnover. Ballock was at the monster game with 26 points. Each team one timeout remaining. Ballock launches long range. Is make him play defense. You know, try to wear him down a little bit. Challenge him. Maybe pick up a foul or two. This time, Good range, long range. Just have to find more consistency. Justin, delivery. Be out there pouting. Don't don't feel sorry for yourself. Go get it. You got to fight. So you, you got to. It's great when your family's around. You haven't seen him in a while, but there's a job to be done. Of that make. Dragging the ball in the backcourt a little bit. This three-pointer does not. Whistle and it's probably a good no call. More at the buzzer. We've comfortable in that in that game. A game that Seton Hall really appeared to have some control of on the road. Of glass Carlton just cleaning glass defensively. We got a plus six differential in rebounding Connecticut does this season. Whaley thought about it. Bryce Eakin has checked in for the Pirates. Here's another three and good. Hitting shots in the early going. Yeah, early could be a combination. You don't get the ball up court quickly and get into something quickly. 24 seconds, not a lot of time. Oh, get that out of here. Yes, sir. Edwards. Mm -hmm. Dunks those guys out. Yes. Jericho Sims had the dunk of the, the combine in our last game. Mm. He has the second best prospect. There are a number of people who believe Jalen Suggs at Gonzaga could slide in there. Jalen Green uh, from the G League could slide in there as well. And I think we mentioned it before. Jalen Green 
was pretty impressive as well. A Smith from three from the corner. Four seconds. Mobley with the steal. Yeah, I want to get better and just talking to him and seeing his work ethic, worth work ethic, I can do the same thing. Yeah, we've talked about it before. I think you're one of the most NBA ready prospects in this draft from day one. The best defender. But he went with that little floater and that wasn't the right shot. Primo gives it up. Jump shot. In this NBA now, you've got to have a knockdown jumper, right? Yeah, that's all the coaches want is uh, uh, if, if the players know what they're getting into, then everybody benefits. So very appreciative for the uh, NBA and NCAA working together to help make sure that players that average 10 points per game, four rebounds and four assists per game. And his measurables here at the combine off the charts. Almost a 7-3 wingspan. Scouts arch down. Said he hasn't eaten bread or chips, something he loves in about three months. Now, who wants to be a pro that bad? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. <laughs> right, this is the floater. A lot of guys incorporating the floater into the game now. Pickett shows it. 15. Right play, Gus. Head fake. Just to put it in. Six point game. 111 to play. First ticket. He's been the hot one. 15 turnaround off the glass. Way strong. Great help that time by Obiago. Don't think that Pickett didn't see him in his rear view. Dante Harris has to make good decisions down the stretch here. Blair, step back jumper, contested, air ball. Not a good decision. No, uh -uh. but Molson right there, game situation. Second, 61-58, a minute to go. In regards to the tournament, but St. John's, Mike DeCorsi has him in his first four out. All moved to the hoop. Nothing doing though. And Mamou College Billy takes down the missed aerial from Greg Williams Jr. Pull back on the floor. St. John's always getting new people out there. There's Roberts. Mamou's got Roden on a run out. The low scoring wise for Butler. Yeah, Golden and Bolden. Yeah, yeah. We're in Bolden. Yes, yes. Indeed, they were. Yeah. Great work defensively by the Hall. 31 22. Offense is so efficient right now, shooting 40, 52% for yeah. Seton Hall. You know, kind of getting the kind of shots that they. Okay. Okay. Author of the uh, author of the handball. <laughs> My mom and dad called me a handball a couple of times. I'm sure they called you two more things than that. The shooting pocket. Perfect location this time. And it goes crying off the front rim. Yeah, Champagne couldn't ask for a better shot than that one. No. That has advanced with a tough game. And, you know, these two teams here see Obiagu, his presence is felt again. And that's number three on the you know, isolation mismatch here with Don, but it's settled. There you go, force him to home. Well, wow, I didn't want to have Could have drove and kicked it. Yeah. <laughs> Champagne. Mamu clears. Some scored in a touch over two minutes. Bulldogs have been efficient inside the arc. Tate fails to add to it there. Mamu Kelashvili, the rebound. Oh, nice force there. Seven men tonight. Three ball. Harris off the heel. Mamu Kelashvili, the board. And, you know, he's a player of the year candidate. This is his time, right? And, and they're not going to get an at-large bid at this point in the season. So they're playing just for momentum, for getting better and to play spoiler. Here's the first miss. Let's spun out. Yeah, yeah, the way I looked at that race and the way it unfolded, Hemrick won the race off pit road. He just lost the race on that restart. Almondinger put it to him on that inside lane and drove away.
Good luck to you both tomorrow. We'll see you with race day starting here on FS1 at 2 p.m. Eastern time. What a day it was. A.J. Allmendinger, a winner for the fourth time. Burlington will let it rip. And it's a great mom who's got the rebound for the Pirates. A little bit more, too, if he receives the pass. But again, that's over time. Last year, early in the year, they might not have thrown him the basketball in that position to make a decision. So you didn't have to worry about it as a defender. Exactly. Red Storm. Williams. A lot of dribbling. Now the shot. No good. Mamu's got it. Well, one thing they can't do, see, Dawn, if you're just going to straight post Mamu's shot clock is under 10, you might as well just play it out, but... Surprising. Yeah. Another three. Erlington can't hit that one, but it worked for Seton Hall. Now under a minute to go. Down by eight. Risky pass to Kramer. He's got one of two. Six point game. 33 seconds. Conference. Bryce Aiken in for the first time for Seton Hall. Shot goes over him. And Mamu Kalashvili comes up with it. Aiken, the transfer from Harvard, who's supposed to. Gaffney finds Whaley. Catch and shoot. Not this time. Good shot, though. I like that pick and roll in transition. Made the right play. Whaley just not able to knock it a transition defense that time by the Pirates. Whaley knew that he missed it. Started to run after it as soon as he let it go. But then you get in transition, Mamu kind of sloppy with his pass you don't convert in transition so that's four points you don't get and then UConn again capitalizes on a big shot he's been there to hit it Sano goes spinning into the lane puts it up rolls around and out rebound Mamu at 225 he's an underrated defender as well because he can guard multiple spots mm -hmm. he's not a you know, not the speediest of guys, but I first saw him when he was at Wichita State, as John mentioned, and he was considered just a shooter, but he's really a completely positional. Mm -hmm. Like, he's multi-positional in offense and defense, and he makes game-winning plays at both ends of the floor. I remember early in the season, I did their Indiana game in the ACC uh, Big Ten Challenge, and he... Such a tough guard, the ability to stretch the floor at 6'11". Also put it on the deck and pass. It makes him a tough guard. It was a lazy maneuver by Roberts. Mamu made a pay. Oh, that was a mistake. The Diarrhea turns it over. On the way, one footed. An ugly miss. And there's the board for Inzi. Immediate impact on his return. And he just gifts the ball. Right to Mamu Kelashvili. He returns the favor. Here in Newark, 46 42. DePaul in front. They've led much of the way. Looking for just their second conference win. Mamu Kelashvili with a steal. One on two. Lost the handle. Roden was able to track it. Ball has to be a little bit more assertive offensively to not let it get below five seconds. Elvis lost it. Mamu Kelashvili had to kill. Senior. <laughs> Here's the freshman Adama Sinogo, who's gotten better and better for Coach Hurley, but it's poked away by Mamu, who's able to come up with a loose ball. Up ahead of the pack, Jared. Interesting, T. Danny Hurley has the freshman, Andre Jackson, in the game and trusting him to take it out of bounds. The initial signal here is that it's Seton Hall. Hall was supposed to play DePaul, but the Blue Demons, the Huskies, along with Butler, are all on pauses due to COVID-19. They should get Sam Penny in the post. They tried to find Cole. Tough pass. We got a foul now. And they give the foul, and they will send. Going over. Lashby got caught in the lane. Now another try at it. Oh, that's not getting there. That's a weak bounce pass. He knew it. Mamu fouled on his way down. You know. Golden lost it. Numbers for the hall. Kale to the rack. No, the foul. That pass too far for Obiagu. Creighton looking to extend its lead. There's a giveaway. Sandro with the stuff. Same play the other way. 
Corkler handing it back to Duke. It was saddled with 2,000 the first half. He gets it into Watson, but too wide. A turnover. They get 10 on the game now. It's from Tyree Samuel, just his 10th of the year, but they will take it. And then Mamu gets the steal, but he stepped on the sideline. Nine years. That's the last time the Hall has beaten UConn. Stolen by Mamu. They have to foul. Yep. NCAA tournament team.